There is a new bridge and walking path between the Magic Kingdom and the Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Uh, opened a few weeks ago and I had a chance to get out there and explore it for the first time. It's a really beautiful walk and I can't wait to share it with you here on the Disney blog. So let's get down on the ground and we're going to start at the Magic Kingdom and work our way over to the Grand Floridian. So when you come out, head down like you're going towards the boats and you'll notice this little sign that says walkway to the Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And this whole area here is new. They've added a new shade area to get onto the boats which uh, makes it very convenient just right outside where the monorail loads. And a matter of fact, if you look up to the right through the, through the fence there, you'll see the monorail station. And it's a very nice area in here. The, if you do leave this area though, you do have to re-enter through uh, security screening again. So one thing to keep in mind. If you want to come down here just to enjoy the view and not even plan to walk all the way over to the hotels, you can totally do that. Disney has uh, chosen to put a, a fence here. I don't know if that fence is going to be a permanent thing or it's a temporary thing, but I imagine it's to uh, keep you from running up the hill to the monorail station, so probably permanent. And they've added another little uh, fence in there with some really nice landscaping. And there you can see one of the monorails coming into station. That's the resort side monorail. They've also put up a nice little bench area there where you can sit down and rest if you're planning to head out or heading into the park. You know, if you are at Walt Disney World and you feel like the crowds are just a little overwhelming and you're like, how can I get away from everybody? This walk between the Magic Kingdom and the Grand Flood and Resort is about as empty as you're going to find at Walt Disney World. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because people don't know about it yet or because you can just hop on a monorail instead of taking this walk, but have to say I love being out in nature even if it's Disney modified nature there's still birds and occasionally there's deer in the area and just to see everything everything out here feel the wind on your face the sun on your back it's just nice just nice and then depending on which way you're going you either end up at the Magic Kingdom or the Grand Floridian Nothing wrong about either of those destinations. And if your legs are really up for a stretch, you could even walk all the way over to the Polynesian. Over there. Maybe stop and get a drink. Or maybe just enjoy the view and the peace and quiet and the relative aloneness. But I gotta say, this is a, a different type of magic but just as magical as Big Fender Mountain or Cinderella Castle, if you ask me. All right, so the technology that makes this walk possible is this new little swing drawbridge over here. And you never were able to walk from here to there because there's a little backstage access waterway that they originally were going to build a bridge over, but they never did. And now we have a ridge. So you go up this little incline, you know, they piled some dirt together here and made a little incline because uh, it's a nice gradual lift, ADA compliant for wheelchairs, beautifully landscaped, very Florida friendly with ferns, some palm trees. And then you get to the top and there's these little gates up here where at night a cast member will stop you and say, hey, we're going to open this drawbridge so the electrical water pageant can go by. And that's pretty cool. Because 
right over here. Right there, that's the electrical water pageant, just waiting. There might be a cast member out there checking a light or two. There might be a gator or an otter or a turtle swimming around down in there. You never know. But again, I'm the only one here in Walt Disney World where there's a couple hundred thousand people hanging out, having a good time. But just me here, that's pretty magical in my book. Looking out over the seven seas of the goon. Another man-made marble. follow this little waterway back far enough you end up on the rivers of America and as a matter of fact when they want to bring the river bill out to dry dock it comes down this little waterway here across where the bridge is goes all the way out here on the seven seas of the goon in front of the magic kingdom over the water bridge around to the back side of the Disney contemporary resort you see over there and then about a quarter mile upstream on Bay Lake, there is a little dry dock area where all these boats park at night. And uh, when they're not docked out here, getting ready for the next morning guests and where they can work on, on the ships. And as a matter of fact, I believe that's where the River Bell is right now because they just put the water in the rivers of America. So uh, I don't think it's back over there yet. I didn't. I didn't walk all the way around, so I didn't. Can't 100% confirm that, but I think it's still in dry dock. And you get a really good look at the monorails from the bridge here too, which is pretty cool. And I've been here for like five minutes, and I'm still the only person here. Well, here, here comes a little family walking from the hotels to the park. All right, so this part here from the swing bridge down around to a bonus second bridge, not a swing bridge, it's a fixed bridge, but it's a new bridge, is all new. This pathway was never here. You know, there was some light maintenance access for Disney vehicles, but pedestrians can never come over here at all. So this is a brand new area at Walt Disney World for guest access, right up here against conservation area. You never know when you may encounter a deer or a little bunny rabbit or uh, on the odd occasion, a snake or a, an alligator, which you definitely want to stay away from. But this is nice. It's very swampy here. And uh, I can imagine in the summer, it's, this is going to be pretty hot. There's not a lot of shade out here on the path. So uh, you'll definitely want to be walking fast in summer, but in the winter, it's going to be a high of about 70 today. This is just about perfect. Just about perfect. Look at that beautiful Seven Seas Lagoon. There's a little, there's a little bird over there. Let's see how close I can get without scaring him off. Doing a little fishing, trying to scare me off, making some noise. Zoom in a little bit. See what I mean about nature? I mean, you get pretty close to it right here. All right, as I said, there is a bonus bridge. Uh, if you were a Disney vehicle, you used to have to go over here because there's a little canal between us and the Grand Floridian. But if you can now just walk across this bridge over to the Grand Floridian or from the Grand Floridian to the Magic Kingdom, this is where your journey will start. And on both sides, there's a canal 
it's always been there. Part of the waterways that are help with the flood control here at Walt Disney World. And on this side is the man-made Seven Seas Lagoon. The nice view of the Grand Floridian. And across the lagoon there, the Contemporary and Bay Lake Towers. And if you keep going, there's the Magic Kingdom. Alright, so they've chosen to uh, not make this very see-through, but I suppose that's a good solution. You don't want little kids getting their heads stuck in the railings or anything funky like that. So you just got really thin metal mesh over there. And lots of lighting, good lighting. This place, this walk's probably going to be very pretty at night. And... Uh, Maybe catch a little bit of the electric water pageant as it comes in and out from its backstage area. Goes around and performs for all the hotels on the two lakes. And now we're over in resort land. And uh, I think this is pretty cool. So now you have three options to get to the Magic Kingdom from the Grand Floridian and the Polynesian. You can take a boat, you can take the monorail, or you can walk. I love it. It's terrific. Don't want to wait for the monorail or the boat at the end of the night. Just hoof it on over here. It's about a 10, 12 minute walk. As long as you don't stop and uh, smell the roses like I did. It's obviously a little bit longer than the than the monorail, but probably about the same as the boat. Maybe a little bit, I mean, a little slower than the boat. I walk pretty fast. The average family is slower than the boat, but still. And this is pretty cool, but I'm, I'm a little confused. I guess I'm not going to make you walk away. So that's the convention center. And we're kind of in like this weird backstage area here. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> Puts you out right by Gasparilla's. So, if you're tired of your everyday lunch, which you get all the time in the Magic Kingdom, I totally 100% recommend coming over here to Gasparilla's. There's lots of good food here, and they always have vegan options too, so. As we get a look at the bridge from the water, I wanted to thank everybody for following the Disney blog. We are the Disney blog on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We really appreciate everybody joining us here. And uh, leave your comments below uh, whether or not you plan to take this walk next time you are at the Magic Kingdom or staying at one of the Grand Floridian or the Polynesian Resort.